G'day One Watt Fly Squad, welcome back to another Thursday trip report. Today my friend Luke is going to bring us on board MRAX EK409 from Melbourne, Australia to Dubai. Currently if you're an Australian citizen or permanent resident you're not allowed to travel overseas except for New Zealand and except if you've got a travel exemption. So Luke's an Australian and he's got the Australian government approval to travel overseas. Also before his flight to Dubai and upon arrival into Dubai he had to do Covid test. Now welcome on board MRX EK409 Melbourne to Dubai. Our aircraft today is a Boeing 777-300ER. There are only about 30 passengers on board today. Luke's got seat 30k today. The leg room is 32 inches which is really good. You've got seat pockets here and you can put quite a lot of stuff. Then the tray table with a cup holder. You've got USB port and cook hook. And a large touchscreen TV. All the cabin crew are wearing face masks, goggles, gowns and gloves. It appears that if you're sitting by the window, you don't get a power socket and the extra USB port. The mood lighting is now on and we're almost ready to go. The aircraft is quite empty, but it's not quiet. Everyone flying MREX Long Haul Economy will receive a amenity kit like this one. You've got some standard and basic stuff like toothbrush, toothpaste, earplugs and stickers to let the crew know whether you want to wake up for the meal or not. Eye shade, socks and a leaflet about the 2020 Dubai Expo. Later the crew also handed out a little hand sanitizer and a face mask. Headphones and blankets also available. Upright position. Baggage including laptops should be stowed in the overhead lockers or use the space under the seat in front. Amrex 777s have got external cameras and it's pretty cool to watch them. We're now in the air and you can connect to the Wi-Fi on board. The cheapest plan will cost you 3 US dollars and the most expensive 20 US dollars. So here's our first meal today after takeoff. Luke's forgotten what they were but it looks like it's a braised beef rice with some greens. One of the many highlights on board MREX 777, even in economy class, is their beautiful lavatory. It looks really fancy and luxurious here. Everything is like gold in colour, except for the coat hook. I don't know why it's grey, it's boring. After the meal service, the crew came around to offer hot drinks, coffee and tea. Another very cool thing about MRX 777 is that once the lights are off, they'll illuminate those stars on the ceiling. Those stars definitely give out some calming effect and help you fall asleep easier. For your information, if you want to fly MRX from Melbourne to Dubai in economy class, given you've got the travel exemption and stuff, you'll pay about $1,157 dollars, and about $100 less if you're connecting to Europe. Halfway through the journey to Dubai, the crew handed out a cheese and bacon toasty. Before landing into Dubai, it's breakfast time. Every meal comes with a cupcake, a water cutlet, a yogurt and a fruit bowl. For the main, Luke opted for an omelette with spinach, potatoes and mushrooms. So thanks so much for watching this trip report and thank you Luke for providing me with the footage. Even now during COVID-19, Dubai is still a a380 wonderland g'day one wall fly squad welcome to my q a and my bedroom and let's get straight into it aiden is asking what's your favorite destination in australia to holiday and what's your and your favorite airline to fly there i think cairns is my favorite uh it's a place to truly relax and not think about anything um a favourite airline, definitely not Virgin Australia this time because they haven't got a lounge there, not Jetstar because it's Jetstar, so it's Qantas. Uh, would be lovely to fly the uh, A330 from Sydney or Melbourne to Cairns, or soon you can fly the uh, Embraer 190 from Adelaide direct to Cairns. 
Second question, Soho Zonk, do you feel safe when traveling uh, with a plane during Corona? Uh, I'm a risk taker, so I'm gonna say yes, I do feel safe, but of course, depending on where I'm going to, I take, you know, appropriate uh, precautions. Like within Australia or to New Zealand, I'm not too worried about Corona at all. Say if I'm going to Hong Kong now, uh, Really, I'm not too worried as well. The risk here and there is really low. But if you're telling me to go to high risk areas now, I'll be like, I'll try not to go if that's an option. If I have to go, you know, definitely a mask, a sanitizer, uh, extra mask as well. How you her fay? What's your favorite comfort food? I like a lot of food, but comfort food. Uh, maybe something that I'll cook at home, like scrambled eggs. I love eggs. Uh, Omelettes, like anything egg related, I love it. And uh, yeah, egg. Top five cities you want to visit next. Um, Auckland, New Zealand, and I'm going there next month. New York. Um, where else? LA. I've been to LA before, but not quite LA. Like I just went to Santa Monica. That was it. I didn't go to like the downtown. Um, number four. Number four. Number four. Moscow. Moscow, uh, Russia. I want to visit uh, Russia. And number five. Maybe somewhere in Europe. Manchester. Been to the UK many times, but it was always the uh, it's all it was always London, so Manchester would be fun. What's the best neighborhood in Hong Kong to visit? Uh, I'm not a good guide for Hong Kong because I'm like from the very rural area of Hong Kong. Uh, it's like the equivalent of Salisbury and Elizabeth in uh, Adelaide, like Bogan area. Uh, the best neighborhood, anything on Hong Kong Island and Kowloon, I'd say. If you want shopping, if you want food, if you want um, the skyline, definitely Hong Kong Island and Kowloon. If you want sort of the outback area, hiking and the beach, everywhere throughout Hong Kong, really. Michael, once COVID restrictions are lifted, What's your first destination you want to fly to? Hong Kong. Um, other than Hong Kong, obviously, the top five I just listed, like uh, New York. Hong Kong AV gig. Will you go to Hong Kong before half year? Um, uh, we're almost half year now. We're now June, so no because Australia's not open to Hong Kong, Hong Kong's not, it's Hong Kong's not open to Australia, so it's like a big pain traveling in between. Uh, as soon as borders reopen on both sides, I'll go. Lou Katini, 1011. What do you think is the worst type of aircraft? I don't really think there's a worst type of aircraft, but it's how the airline um, put their seats on the aircraft, like the layout, for example, A330. It's really, really comfortable when the layout is 242, but when airlines like AirAsia and Philippines put 333, it's a pain. Like people think it's the aircraft fault, but it's really the airline's fault. Patrick Jones, do you prefer to fly during the night or during the day? Definitely during the day. I like to see outside, like the view and stuff. Ooh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Next week, I'll do Qantas Sydney to Queenstown. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.